Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at how I got my HitFilm Express exports to actually process a whole lot faster on my main video editing PC. Before we take a look at that, take a look at the links in the description below for the parts that I used in my editing build. For a while now I have been editing on the Ryzen 2600X build that I actually featured in a couple of the videos on the channel before. Because this was an editing build and not one of my mining rigs, I actually installed a GT610 for the video card in this, as I really only needed to drive a couple of basic displays, so I didn't really want to take a capable mining card out of the mining rigs and put it in here just for video editing. Mainly because I didn't think there'd really be any kind of benefit and I'd probably lose out on hashes due to the downtime from actually video editing because you would not be able to do both simultaneously. I have tried. The question I had when I set out to take a look at this was basically if I upgraded the GT610 to even what's considered a lower end card these days, would my exports actually export faster from HitFilm Express? I had seen a couple of references on the forums that graphics cards do help speed up the export process, but I didn't really see any benchmarks or before or after a graphics card was added, and I didn't really see if you needed a high-end or even just a low-end graphics card. So the first example that I have highlighted here is one of the more recent videos I did, how to install a Noctua NHD15 cooler on your AM4 platform. So here is a comparison of the same video when I exported the video through HitFilm Express with the NVIDIA GT610 installed and when I did it with the AMD RX 460 4 gig installed. You can see here the very first export is the YouTube 1080 HD preset. The duration is 15 minutes 33 seconds and the elapsed time is one hour and four minutes. So it took one hour and four minutes to export this video with the NVIDIA GT610, which was a low-end card when it came out and is extremely low-end today. Basically only good for displaying web pages and YouTube. So after I swapped out the NVIDIA GT610 for the RX 460 4 gig that I had in one of the mining rigs, I re-encoded this video same preset, YouTube 1080p HD, same length of time, same source files, everything. The elapsed time shrunk from 1 hour and 4 minutes down to 21 minutes and 53 seconds. So, if anyone's wondering if the GPU matters when you're doing HitFilm Express exports, the answer is yes. It incredibly impacts the amount of time that you're going to spend watching HitFilm export the video. As I mentioned before, the GT610 was bottom barrel type GPU from the generation it was from, and the RX 460 itself is a lower end 1080p gaming card, but the improvement there was dramatic. We're looking at about a 75% time reduction in the amount of time that it took me to export this video. Since I tend to put out one to three videos a week, multiplying this for every week of the year, having this video card in there really will save me quite a bit of time when setting up YouTube videos. So I would highly recommend that anyone doing any kind of content creation in HitFilm Express at minimum buys a current generation low-end video card. Now the question would be, if you put a higher end video card in, how much would that reduce the export time? I haven't tested with any of the Vegas or any of the higher end NVIDIA GPUs yet. I am pretty certain that it would reduce the time by quite a bit, even past the 21 minutes, but at that point you might only be saving 5 to 10 minutes. There will be diminishing gains as you increase the capability of your video card. For now, I'm going to leave the RX 460 in and I'm going to use that as a part-time miner and a part-time video encoding GPU. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're interested in more PC and server building content, crypto mining content, or tech and gadgets, definitely consider getting subscribed to the channel. Like I mentioned before, I'll have links in the video description below to all the parts that I use in my HitFilm Express exporting machine. You can follow us on Twitter at Sam's Tech Stuff, on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff, or on our new website, samstechstuff.com.